I spy with my little eye something that is green. Have you figured it out? It's Reactor. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Clack Crafter. And yes, I'm in the, the pond again, getting some more algae. I was hoping to get a little bit more, because I want to start making some fertilizer. Uh, I want to try, start, try, start trying to make some progress today, uh, including get some more biomass going. And I noticed uh, Tier 2 Flower Spitter actually generates a good amount of biomass, but I need fertilizer and I need Super Alloy. Uh, regarding Super Alloy, uh, it was mentioned uh, the meteor shower at the start of the last video was actually Super Alloy. I thought they were uranium, but apparently it's super alloy. And, um, and uh, apparently stuff despawns pretty quickly. I did actually want to go over here and just happen to see if I can find it laying around. I highly doubt it, because it's probably all despawned by now. Yeah, most likely it has. Uh, one of the things I did notice too is, I don't know if this is something that just appeared recently, or if... It came, it's always been there, I just never noticed it, but there was actually a gold chest here. And I actually knew about this and I found it earlier when I came in. You know, grabbed it and reload the save and all that stuff and back here, but uh, I actually want to get a few things going on. The thing I want to do is get the pressure building, which means more tier 4 drills, which means more super alloy. Uh, I want to get more oxygen being produced, which probably means more another bio lab or some more flower spreaders. And, uh, yeah, another one I noticed, too. Let's see if I can... Actually, I think I pointed it out in the last episode about the grass uh, showing up in spots. One sec. Sorry about that. Old age just kicked in for a minute there. Uh, we did actually just unlock something, too. We just passed one giga TI. I don't know what we're going to call it, but... Uh, one GTI. So that means we have unlocked... Uh, it's actually not in here, it is it's over here. We have... It's in here somewhere. Oh, it's over here actually. We have a water filter. And that means I don't actually have to need water bottles to drink. I can just drink right out of lakes and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and uh, make this up. When I, I knew about the water filter coming up, I didn't realize it was a thing that actually goes in my backpack. I thought it was something I placed down. It was like a... Sort of like the water collector or the lake water collector even where it's just like unlimited supplies you just keep going so uh we need bioplastic nuggets i don't know if i have any of those uh oh i do i got two bioplastic nuggets what else do i need, I need the fabric and silicone all right let me get that and i'll be right back oh yeah another one i noticed too uh i noticed this is actually producing oxygen as well so it's always Interesting, not that I need it, but I can always throw that to, let's say, uh, the recycler and turn those, those, uh, these oxygen bottles into two cobalt. So, might be a cobalt farm. I don't know, uh, I might be able to get ice out of the water, but I don't think the ice, that really matters. The only thing I can do with the ice, anyways, is make a, a food grower, I think. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's, uh, go and, go and build a new toy. Or, a new accessory, I'll call it. Oh. Silicon helps. Let's put one of the methane away. I found another effigy too. Uh, silicone, yes. Over here. Uh, I do, need, like I said, need to find more super alloy. I need to find a whole lot of super alloy. I can actually make some super alloy if I want, but I just want to say super alloy. Alright. As you know, drink directly from lakes. We give this a shit. Let's just go test this out just because we can. Alright, off we go. And down we go. And I was, I was thinking about building up uh, a couple more ore extractors, but again, I need super alloy for that. Well, that's what I wanted to do. And I click with the tool. That's that's cool. Hey, interesting. Too bad there isn't lakes everywhere. Like, well, maybe we're the desert area. But let's see, actually see if I can get another drill up. I want to get, like I said, I want to get that pressure up because the pressure gets the uh, tier 2 ore extractor, which means we can actually start getting uh, things like the osmium, and I think I might be able to mine super alloy with that. I'm not 100% sure. That's still 100 millipascals away. 
and building pressure, of course, with the drill. I don't think I can do it with anything else. I don't think the biodome actually does it. No, it builds oxygen, though. And the oxygen will get a tier, tree spreader tier 2. But as it was pointed out, the tree, tree spreader tier 1 is actually in the, the bio... Bio... Yeah, biodome. At least I think it's in the biodome. Biodome, bio lab, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's in there at 30, 60, 75 tons of biomass. And the only thing that really generates the biomass, as far as I can tell, is these flower spreaders or rockets. So let's actually do that. I need fertilizer, though. So uh, let me gather a few things, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So what I just had to do is... I just had to, sorry. I just had to go and do a little bit of resource gathering. and collect a few things. Uh, I went back to a cave I had found. I never actually explored it, but it had super alloy. I found a chest. I had uh, explosive powder, seeds, some other seeds, and stuff like that. Uh, I found another chest over in the sulfur area that had a pulsar quartz and some iridium rods and super alloy and stuff. Um, let me put some stuff away and grab something to eat, and then uh, we got some exploring to do. Okay, I'm just about ready to head off. What I'm going to do, though, is uh, since I have the super alloy now, uh, let's get a couple more drills going. Uh, yeah, so I need 12. Right, 6 and 6, yeah. I have just enough. Get a few more tier 4 drills going. Uh, there was actually some more uh, super alloy in that cave. I just never actually got it all because, uh, you know, full inventory and all. Alright, I'll just put these ones down here. I don't really care too much about making them perfect for the rest of them. Because, you know, everything's perfect. Everything's perf perfect for me. Including my videos. Alright, so that should be cranking up the pressure significantly. Go check on that quickly. Because I think we're going to be getting that unlocked pretty quick at 750. Uh, pressure. Nope. Pressure. Oh. 365, so we're getting our extractive tier 2 soon. Alright, heat's going up, so we're going to be getting uh, the fusion generator, which is going to be going to be interesting. I want to actually see how much that power that generates. And so far that is it for now. So we're going to let this all cook and do its thing, and we're going to go do some exploring. Took a little bit of food with me, one canister of oxygen. I, I did already set up a shelter, but uh, I might actually take a few more capsules just in case, and maybe a little bit more water. Let me grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, off we go. Uh, I gotta admit though, having uh, these caves open up makes it so much easier to get, like, get from one place to another. Uh, so far I haven't really gotten lost. Uh, I have, but not really. Uh, that was the other cave over to there. Uh, it was this chest over here that I found the pulsar quartz and the other thing was uh, right there. Alright, so now we head off this way to this wreckage. But we hang on left. And it was just up here was a super alloy cave. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that just yet because I want to go explore this, this other shelter. I think it was in the last video I just went inside it and I actually do much of other some stuff in the cabinets and I just left it there. But I went back there and grabbed it and you know some super alloy iridium rods and a couple other little things so I uh, can't go that way. But I did something and I don't know if anybody else has actually tried to do it. Because you don't really see anything. But you know what I mean. I had to try it. Just I just had this feeling. And we go back up here. And I haven't gotten lost. I'm surprised. And I already grabbed what's in the box. So it's no big deal. So we fill up the oxygen. And back we go. Now what I did. Is I decided to pull out one of the... the the lockers, and I saw there was an open space here. So we get a food grower that I can't do much about, uh, crafter, and then I notice that it goes into a cave. It goes into more of a ship, and another ladder. What's going on here? I'll do whatever it takes to quit the, quit this planet. I had to dig deep to find the resources needed to build the launch platform. The storms have been less frequent recently. I have to find a big meteor creator to build the platform at the bottom of 
of it in order to be protected from the winds. My magnetic fields of this planet are completely crazy, it's the first time I've seen this in all my life. Once again, I leave this shel shelter hopefully, hoping I'll be able to make it. So is this planet like reverting itself every time? Oh, interesting, more microchips I have no use for. So, uh, I guess that was it. Nothing I can dismantle in here. No, apparently not. Deconstruct that, which doesn't give me anything but iron. Alright, well, that was anticlimactic. Not much else I could do. I can't deconstruct any of this. Uh, I could take the locker, that's about it. Alright, well, interesting. Uh, I might drop off the iron. We'll see. But anyways, I thought there was going to be more to it. I thought I'd bring you back for that. Uh, anywho, uh, let me go back to the cave there. I'm going to go pick up whatever I can, and I'll meet you back at the base. And I'm back with a whole bunch more of the good stuff. Alright, so let's see, see how much I have. Whatever I picked up. Plus, I do have, have all the aluminum and all that other stuff, so I can always make more if I need to. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to put some stuff away. I can do that later. Let's actually see what we're doing here. Oh, heat's actually almost there. We're going to be getting the fusion generator pretty soon, and the tier 2 ore extractor. Nice. Uh, I can't wait for this, because I'm actually curious to see what's going on with those... Uh, in the ships there. Uh, while we're at it, let's actually check the biomass. Biomass is not doing anything. So I think it was the flower spider was going to be the best for the biomass. Uh, the question is though, is like we want tons. Is this like grams? Is this pounds? Is this ounces? I don't know. But anyways, I have super aloe. I need to make some fertilizer. So let me gather up some more algae and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have enough to make the two flower spitters. I do have one golden seed, and I'm going to use a tusca because it's all I have. I'm going to check outside here these veggie tubes and see if I have a golden in here. Is that a golden? It is. Okay. Put the tusca in there. Now where are we going to plant some flowers? There's a good spot right here. Okay, so we'll place that in there. And we'll place that in there. Then we'll do another one. Sure, good spot right here. Why not? I don't think the amount of area it covers it matters. It's just as long as it's actually there. That's actually going really quick. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a biomass rocket. And we'll see what that actually does. I'm actually curious, like it's saying 1000%. I'm guessing it's counting like the seeds. You can see that went up to 36, it went up like 500. So if I set up a biomass rocket, what's that going to do? We'll find out. But first, let's see what this ore extractor costs. It's actually not that bad. It's a lot of power, though. Well, it's a good thing I could build another reactor. I have the explosive powder. I just need one super alloy. Get to make the rods. And, uh, yeah, let me go get that done. I'll place that up on the roof with the rest of them. And then we'll go place this somewhere. Okay, she's up there. We're producing a surplus of 380 kilowatts. What do we need for this thing? Uh, three osmium, three super alloy, and r two iridium rods. Two iridium rods, uh, three super alloy, and three osmium. Now, I think I probably want to get osmium with this. Now, the question is, where do I place it? Will I be able to get osmium in here? I'm assuming because of the nice big shiny blue rocks on the ceiling. Let's see what this does. I like it. Actually, pretty interesting. Aha! Cool. That's osmium. Uh, now the question is, do I want to have the osmium or do I want the super alloy? I guess I want the osmium. It'd be nice to know how long it takes to actually mine 
mine it because you know how every, everything else has a status tells you like a, a growth progress. Oh, it's actually generating pressure. Interesting. Very cool. Let's see if we got any osmium yet. You done yet? Are you done yet? No. Alright, well, that is cool. I'm going to get some more of those. Okay, so let's go check on everything else. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a launch a biomass rocket. Uh, for that, I believe I need. Oh, let's see if I can remember the recipe. Lerma seed, tree bark, uh, two super alloy, and a rocket engine. Let's see if I actually got that right. The number of times I walked into that DNA manipulator. It's uh, it's like what they say when you're driving. You always look at the, you always drive in the direction that you're looking. So if you're looking off the side of the road, you tend to actually drive in that direction. Okay, a uh, rocket engine. Hmm. Titanium, super alloy, iridium rod. Oh, iridium rod, iridium super alloy. I was way off. It's almost like I've never played this game before, and I'm almost out of super alloy. Actually, I have to make one more. Uh, let me get some stuff together and we'll launch that rocket. Alright, so, right into a bit of a snag. Uh, I'm out of uranium, so I can't actually make the jet engine, so I just had to come out here and see if I left anything here, and I came across this. And I have seen a screenshot that apparently you can't actually harvest this. And I don't know if... Oh, okay, so we I, I can actually harvest these, okay. Yeah, because I saw that it was... They were had the same thing where it was highlighted like that. I wasn't sure if maybe that was something I was supposed to put in the date with the DNA manipulator. But anyways, I thought I'd come out here and check it out and saw that. So uh, I'm going to see if we can find some more uranium. If not, I might have to build a, a recycling machine and dismantle one of the uranium reactors. Oh, what do you know? I opened the chest and there just happens to be two uranium in there. Wow, this hill is really starting to get grassy, isn't it? By the way, the, the fusion fusion reactor is unlocked, so as soon as I get to the top, we'll check out the, the price of it. Uh, I looked around there a little bit more, I didn't really find too much. Found some food that I left there, and I think that's about it. Yeah, just some food. And I picked up some super alloy that I just saw laying on the ground. Alright, so what do I need for this thing? I'm going to say a whole lot of osmium, a whole lot of zeolite, and a whole lot of super alloy. Or that. Wow. Wow. What is that? 1800 per second? Interesting. Now, what did I need to make those things? It was like. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Biolab. Crystal, man. Beulite, osmium, iridium. iridium. Uranium is going to be the problem. I almost think maybe I should launch a uranium asteroid, uh, uranium rocket. And I think that's what I'll do. Because I need uranium. I haven't figured out where the mine is, so let me get that stuff together. Gather up the uranium, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've been gathering up some stuff, and... This one, I didn't actually instigate. I wonder if this is that super alloy. Where'd the other one hit? It was over here, was it not? Oh, hey. Oh, this is a normal one. Okay. So it's the color that sort of determines what it's going to be. Yeah, this is going to be the normal one as I was flying around. <laughs> Hoping I don't get hit. Anyways, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, uh, I was able to get about that much uranium. There's probably some rocks I missed. I got a little chunk that's sort of hanging off the cliff there. Literally hanging off the cliff. And, yeah. So I, I'm, not, I'm starting to wonder now because the meteors aren't hitting over there. They're hitting over here. So I'm wondering if maybe if the, when the meteor storm is activated if it's centralized around your current location so if I activate a meteor shower here and then go over to the big ship there if it's going to be perfectly fine over here well maybe not that is my question 
Anyway, uh, okay, I did see some uranium up there. We'll grab this little chunk here and then we'll launch off that, uh, oh, a double. Rip that biomass rocket off the ground. Yeah, some zero light too. Stuff just everywhere. It grows like weeds. Alright, uh, let me get our engine together and then we'll do a biomass rocket. So that's the thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't plant a seed. I don't think those actually need them. Did that come from the asteroid? Did that just happen to grow and drop? I saw that and I was starting to think, oh jeez, it took out my flower flower spreader. But I don't think that's the case, because like I said, I wouldn't have put the lerma in there. Uh, anyway, I came over to get some more cobalt, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm ready here. I wanted to go get some cobalt to make more, make more super alloy, because I actually want to get this fusion reactor going. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need one more, one more zeolite. And I went back to the mine over there in the, the osmium cave, and yeah, it was mostly osmium in there, so it was pretty good. And yeah, it's actually a good thing that this zeolite is everywhere. Like I'm seeing it in so many places. Oh yeah, it's the wrong spot. You run over here, and make one more, and I do have one, but I think I need, to, need one to actually power it. At least I think. Ooh. Ooh, that's small. Let's hope it's not noisy because I want to have it out here in the, out here where I can look at it. Uh, yeah, right over here in the corner is good. And there. Oh, doesn't need fuel. Cool. Loads of power. Alright, so let's see how we're doing on everything. Okay, so we want to get the biomass going, so we're going to get a biomass rocket going up. Uh, oxygen, we're actually getting, what, one point part per million? We're 7% of the way to the tree spreader. Yay. Uh, and other than that, there's not much else we can really do except start generating more stuff. I'm just going to do something with it. Oh, yeah, the biomass rocket. Let's see, I need a rocket engine and two super alloy. And I think that was it. Let me check and I'll bring, come right back. Okay, I think I have everything. At least I think I think I have everything. Or do I just think that? I do. Alright. Let's let it, let it rain green again. Unfortunately, it's not money green. Plant matter. Organics. All right, now um, I'm gonna, just gonna assume that it's gonna register right away because it was 3100 before. Let's see what it says. 62, so it doubled it. Wow, it's actually really good. As far as I know, it's permanent too. Okay, we're definitely moving along pretty good. Uh, as far as unlocks, I think that is everything. Uh, that is unlocked. That is unlocked. We've got the tree spreader coming up. And other than that, it's just a matter of getting biomass. Yay, it's green snow. We're being irradiated for Christmas. Yeah, so in here, we get the tier 2 food growing coming up soon. Actually, not soon, soon, but soon. And the tree spreader is at 65 tons, which is going to be a little ways yet. Uh, other than that, there's not much else I can do except for we'll probably launch a few more of these off. Uh, I think we're probably getting near the end of the episode though, so let me check the recording time and I'll be right back. Well, I was just about to probably call the episode, but I think this is that super alloy storm. Like, look at this. Wow. Hey, how dare you hit my stuff? I better get inside. Just in case something happens. That's a lot of them all at once. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> Apparently this is all super alloy from what I'm told. Jeez, I didn't realize there were so many of them. That was close. <laughs> you know... 
the developers ever implement uh, building damage, we're all done for. Is there more coming or what? That's just insane. That better be a lot of super, a lot of super alloy. Look at that, it's just sitting there taunting me. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna let this finish off. I'm gonna clean up and I'll be here. I'll bring it back when I'm done. Okay, uh, I guess this stuff despawns really fast. Either that I was having trouble actually finding it. Um, that's about all I really got. I didn't really get too much. Uh, one thing we did do get though is a food grower tier 2. Grows food faster. I don't think it's gonna be any benefit. But let's make one anyways. I should have some algae. Uh, not yet. Okay, I have everything ready now. And what I'll do is I think for this one here I'll probably put over here with the other fancy toy. Uh, what am I missing? Water bottle. Don't have one in there. Don't have one in there. So we gotta go outside and grab one over here. And give me, give me all. Let me run back inside. Let me go ahead and make a tier two food grower, which is actually what we saw on the other base there, but I couldn't actually dismantle it for some reason. Probably because I didn't have it unlocked. I'm wondering maybe that's why. Yeah, this is the tier two, right? Yeah. We're a little critical, huh? Oh, we're gonna have to do something about that. Sure. Uh, oh. Food, food's not in there. Or in there. All the way down here. And while I'm at it, I'll grab, a, grab some bean seeds too. Take that, and grab some extra bean seeds. I don't know if there's ever going to be anything we can actually do with those, but... Put it in, it already started at 30%. At 30%. Grill speed 1.1. So, is there a way to actually upgrade that, or...? I have no idea. Huh. That's kind of cool, though. I don't know if that's actually going to blow up my base or not. But I think with that, uh, I'll probably call the episode here. I think what I'll do between now and the next one is... Uh, I'll probably look at... Probably up in our biomass. We're going to be getting up to the trees pretty soon. Uh, the tier 2 is still a little ways away, but we got the tier 1 first. Uh, other than that, we're just waiting. So, yeah, I'm going to call this one here. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, see you in the next one. Later.